Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today you're going to watch a guy that knows nothing about mountaineering try and climb some of the biggest mountains in the world because we're going to be checking out Climber Sky is the Limit. Now, I was a huge fan of a game called Insurmountable. We played a little while on the channel, and I have been looking for more climbing simulators, and this one popped up. Looks really, really good. I'm super excited to get into it. And yeah, if you guys enjoy this as well, we'll definitely try and get some of the bigger mountains like Everest and K2. But today we're doing Mana Slough. I think that rhymed as well. That was not intentional, but that's just how good I am. Okay, so where this game is really cool, in my opinion, is in the prep. And I feel like if you are mountaineering, prep is a big part of it. I mean, you don't want to forget something because you'll freaking die. So yeah, the prep stages before the mountain is one of the coolest things about this game, uh, in my opinion. So we actually do have sponsors. A truck is sponsoring me. How exciting. Uh, now, it also gives us suggested or required items. I guess it's not suggested. It is required or we probably die. It'd be fun to try and not go up the mountain with these, but I don't even think you can. So yeah, we're going to buy all those missing items. I think for this first one, I will just trust that the game knows what it's doing and it gave me enough energy bars and whatnot. And yeah, I really don't want to spend my money where I don't need to, but yeah, as you can see, there is actually quite a bit in this game that you do have to manage when it comes to the prep phases. Now, what's extra cool, in my opinion, is the way the backpack works. So first of all, we will equip all of our gear. Also, I just realized we didn't bring boots, of all things. I mean, you're the professional game. I'm just going to go with the suggested. But I feel like boots is kind of important. Now, this is where it's really cool, in my opinion. You actually do have to strategize packing your things. Uh, there is a weight balance, and obviously, if your backpack is off-centered with how heavy these things can be when you are hiking, it can make hiking a lot more worse. So you actually do want to balance your weight around. And let me show you how this kind of works. So as you can see, there is a center of gravity dot in that big circle. Wherever you place things, obviously, the center of gravity will change. So the goal is to keep it in the middle as much as possible, because then you have a balanced center of gravity. Things like that get me really excited about this game, because that's small things that are really, really cool. So for right now, I'm just going to throw everything in here and then we will Tetris it up and see if we can get this thing nice and centered. All right. So I should also mention I've only done the tutorial mountain. So I know very little of this game, but I put what I think should be on my hot bar on the side. So we have our food and our climbing utilities. Uh, now we're just going to try and get this a little more to the left because obviously the majority of the weight is going to the right, oddly enough. All right, I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. That's pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Uh, so yeah, we're going to hit next here and finally get to the actual mountain. So it looks like we'll possibly be out here for three days. There is three different camp spots. There's kind of a, a generic of what we plan on doing here. Let's just get into it and start it right away. All right, and here we are at camp number one. Now, I do want to look around because there is sometimes free items. So I doubt I, at the camps we get the free items, but on the mountain, sometimes there is. So I figured I would check here as well. Looks like I cannot... Oh, there we go. Pick up a short rope. I don't know where it is, but I'm picking it up. I'm going to steal everything. All right, if you look at the top left, you can actually see vitals go down quite quickly in this, uh, which gives me anxiety. So we might want to get moving forward here. I was hoping at the bottom, the vitals would go down slow, but it does look like, I mean, they are dropping. We have lots of numbers there, and I'm assuming the, the harsher the terrain, the faster the numbers drop. So yeah, we're just going to head up here and go to the snow cover because time is ticking. You see there is a time scale on my top as well. Oh, we have weather. Thanks to the weather, the bar at the top of the screen, the player can carefully plan the next stages of reaching the summit. All right, the bar is divided into single three hour, 180 minute weather slots remember the duration of the action as expressed in minutes all right so it looks like not too bad right now we're gonna have a nice sunny day till nighttime so i need to figure out if i want to go left or right essentially i think i'm gonna go left well maybe i shouldn't have went left that's okay i have my ladder though so we should be able to possibly oh maybe i can't place this here why is it because it's snowy oh do i gotta climb down and back up or do i have to go around I've already screwed up. I just started. I thought for sure the ladder would work here. It doesn't seem to be working, unfortunately. Oh, that, okay. Uh, that doesn't seem safe. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I went to the other side just to check. And for whatever reason, my ladder, oh God, works here. All right, so I will take it as long as this thing doesn't fall. Uh, yeah, no big deal at all. And let's make sure to pick that up because we're probably going to need it. 21% of players died here. That's depressing. Why would you tell me that? I mean, statistically, that's in my favor, but with my luck, I think you guys have watched the channel long enough. You know I will probably freaking die here. Okay, rocky climb up. Um, Looking around here, uh, maybe we should take the actual rocks. That's probably the smart way to do it. 
So we'll use some of our elbow grease to try and get up. And yes, that's not too bad. How did 21% of people die here? This ain't bad at all. All right, so we can climb here. Now, uh, this is... Oh, what is this? Ra radio menu? Why are you telling me this when I'm holding onto a wall? While climbing, clicking right mouse button will show a pop-up menu with additional options such as selecting, deselecting a point for climbing the wall. Great. Thanks for telling me that right when I put my hand on the wall. So this is actually really cool because you actually have to place each of your hands. And again, I don't know much about rock crawling, but I do know hand placement is key. So as you can probably tell, orange is dangerous. Green is fine. And then red uses a lot of my energy. So I'm... Oh, man, this is rough. I'm going to try and follow possibly the orange to the left because there's green over there. So if we can start going this way, that would be great. I worry that I'm going to run out of energy, though. And I'm going to risk a red here, I think. Oh, God. Okay, okay. We are fine. We are good. We have made it out of the hard zone. And we're just going to kind of follow this green line all the way up. All right. And we made it up. So we are better than 21% of the people in the world. So go me. Uh, I'm getting cold, though. I should probably figure out how to deal with that. I mean, maybe, you know, bring boots. That would be smart. I'm, I probably have to stop for a campfire or something. Again, this is my first actual mountaineering climb, so we, we might die here, but it's fine. Body temperature below 15%. Okay, that's going down quickly. Why is that going down so quickly? Second ice cells. 25% of players die here. I kind of love that they tell you how many players die uh, wherever. I'm hoping we can set up camp soon. Does it tell me where we're supposed to set up camp? Because uh, we're currently right here, so we have made it back to the path. We have to go up to B. Oh my god, I think I'm going way too slow. We, we might die due to, due to my slowness. God damn it, man. Maybe if the ladder would work with me, we'd be able to do this better. So yeah, you have to put it at the weirdest of spots. So yeah, I might die here. We might just need to do that a little bit faster. Now that I know the ways to go, uh, we just might have to retry. And I died. Okay, what the hell? All right, made much better time now that I know what, that, what I'm doing, at least kind of. And we're at the icy crevices. So I'm assuming we just got to use the ladder once again. Ice passages between rocks. Okay, so yeah, we have to use the ladder here. Ladder is my best friend in this game when it works, of course. So yeah, it's just a little finicky placing it, but... That's fine. Oh my... How? How do I miss a ladder? I do not deserve to be a mountaineer. I just want to get to the campsite so I can hopefully warm up. I'm getting a little nervous because we are approaching nighttime. You really do have to rush in this game because I am... Well, still quite far away from uh, Site B. And of course, I need to pro possibly climb here. I, def I definitely need to climb. Okay, Ice Passage. Hopefully, it's an easy walk from here. Where am I going? Icy Steep Slope. That doesn't sound easy at all. Is this the Icy Steep Slope? Or is there an opening over here? It looks like I can climb this. Oh, great. That looks so inviting. I'm so excited to do this when I'm exhausted. Super pumped, man. Can I not sleep here? Oh, uh, where am I going? Camp two. I just got okay. This is this is like the final boss. Seventy-one percent of players died here. Oh god, I'm dead. You can actually see through the ice too. That's cool. Um, okay, I need to tether once we run out of green here, of course. And I don't really remember how to do that. Okay, so we tether. Wait, I have to climb up with tethers. All right, so we do that, and then we press that, put that on there, so we don't die. So yeah, uh, we are fine till 60 degrees here. Unfortunately, I don't Ah, God, I only have a short rope. So that's, I knew that was going to happen. So we're just going to have to daisy chain these together. And we'll attach to that. Now, how do I grab, how do, how do I grab that? No, what? How do I have two ropes right now? Can I have that rope back? Ah, oh, screw it. I don't have time for this. I, I, I just need to keep going. I hope I get my ropes back. That's all. Night has come. Oh, great. It just comes that fast. I'm almost there. Just let me tether up. All right. We might be walkable here. Turn on the flashlight. Don't tell me what to do, game. I, I'm the mountaineer here, not you. Okay. I think... Is it safe to go this way? Kind of. Just get me to the camp. It's going to be daytime by the time I freaking get there. Oh, uh, what the hell was that? What? Why'd you flip me around? Pitch a tent. That's what she said. All right, I probably should have read that because I've never done this, but I'm assuming it's pretty easy. So we just hit that, hit that, pitch it. Shut up. I know I know my backpack's overloaded. And enter. We have made it to camp one. Uh, cooking a meal, select the stove from the bottom bar. Okay, I need to put it on bottom bar first. So I guess we should probably eat. Put pot on top. And then I'm assuming we don't want energy bars in there. We want food. 
Okay. Yummy yums. Time to eat. Ah, sustenance. Okay, let's get to sleep, maybe? That would be smart. Yes, I know. Thank you, game. You're 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 telling me how to do it as I'm doing it. Alright, so first of all, comfort is key, so we need our sleeping mat. And then sleeping bag on top of mat. That's okay. I was gonna say if that's that sideways, that's gonna be annoying. And press F to sleep. Um, what's my stamina at right now? 351. So we wanna get a good amount of stamina here. Probably about 600 ish would be great. Okay, and there we go. I have no idea what time we're gonna wake up. Hopefully, it's not nighttime. Oh, great. It's freaking nighttime! All right, well, I'm, go I'm going back to sleep for a little bit here. I probably should have paid attention to that bar. It doesn't follow my. Oh, wait, is this litter? I'm so dumb. I thought it would show on the bar how far we're going. This slider is literally going to wherever on the bar we stop. I I'm dumb sometimes. All right, so we're gonna sleep till sunlight. Because I do not want to traverse in, in the, the nighttime. Hopefully, how far do we have to get today? This is going to be a much slower day. It's not very far at all. So it's probably going to be very technical. All right. So hopefully I have enough stamina to do this today. We're going to be doing a lot of rock crawling. Oh, great. Now we have a wind chill. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Don't fall. Okay, there we go. I think I figured out the way up. What do I have to do about the wind chill, though? How is this? Okay, this is walkable. Oh, yeah. This is... Ah! Okay. Oh, oh! I just watched my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> I, was, I don't even know what I was going to say, but something along the lines of this is going to be easy. I just follow this green path. I don't even need to pin myself down. Okay, I definitely need to pin myself down now. Okay, so now I should be able to use my ladder. Oh, God. I hope. Yep, I had it there. Come on. Don't fr frig around with me right now. Oh, oh, was that green? Yeah, it was. Oh, come on. Yes! Oh, shut I don't care about my backpack. Okay, so now, how do I pick this up? There we go. Okay, so I had to unhook it from myself to pick it up. Can I pick up these thingies? No, I don't care. I don't got time. Let's go. I hope I, I only need three. Oh, God, this is scary. Food below 20%. Don't worry. We are almost there, I think. Uh, we can also, actually, let's just eat an energy bar, maybe. That'll probably help, right? Mmm, sustenance. And we're at the camp anyway, so that's fantastic. Oh, this looks like such a cozy place. What did you give me today? Ice screws. Just what I actually needed. All right, let's get a good amount of sleep for tomorrow. Hopefully I can here. There we go. Because tomorrow's the big day. We reach the summit. I love that you actually have to, like, make your bed and everything. Small details make this really, really fun. All right, but we're going to sleep. Uh, I need... What else am I stamina at now? Again, 358. So, you know what? I'm going to have a nice long sleep till morning here. We'll even go to nighttime right at the end just to give myself time to pack up. And we should be moving right at dawn. All right. So, I got my flashlight. I picked up everything. Not that I really need it anymore. Well, actually, I do have to go back down, don't I? I always forget about that part, you know? <laughs> Getting to the top is only half the battle. All right. Well, here we are at the ice wall. Actually, let me check my backpack. I still haven't used oxygen. I should probably do that. I mean, I am high enough, so we're going to throw that on as well. Uh, I think that makes any task easier on stamina. All right, I'm going to take a risk. Walk on this. I should probably anchor myself, but I ain't scared because now we're at the ice wall. And then we're at rocks. How exciting. All right, start climbing. Oh, this is where we got to use ice picks. So we actually do got to kind of figure out the best way up. The, the darker the triangle, or should I say the more to the red... Uh, the more stamina you use on those. So you just want to try and follow the green. 90% of players died here? Okay. Now I'm screwed. How? Why is this so hard? It's just, it looks like it's very technical. All right. I have to beat 90% of players. So it looks like there's a nice pathway this way. We're going to follow the pathway. And there goes my oxygen. So maybe I should have waited for that. I think I can fill it back up. Because so I do have a tank here, don't I? Wait, that that's a freaking battery? I thought that was a tank. So I just used all my oxygen. Fantastic. Okay, that was dangerous. Okay, that's dangerous as well. Fantastic. All right, food below 15. Let's, let's take a breather here. Look at my surroundings. Look at how far we have come. All right, how the hell am I going to do this now? Can I, can I climb this? Okay, I can. Okay, back to climbing. I like that each hand placement shows you exactly what you're wasting by going there as well. Like, this is so cool to me. Uh, can I zoom out? Yeah, so I can go through this little tight area. So I think I'll keep this way to save time. Because I can go to the right, obviously, as well. But this looks like it should be okay. 
Food below 20%. Oh my god. You eat too much, dude. Risking it for the biscuit. We're going on orange for the final. Please don't fall. That would really, really suck. And stop climbing. Looks like we are indeed on Summit Road. Did I beat 90% of players by doing this first try? Oh, I shouldn't have jinxed myself. Wait, maybe you actually go this way? Can I go up this way? Oh yeah, dude. Food below 20? I don't care, dude. Uh, Is this the road you're talking about? Oh god, I feel like this is dangerous, but I save so much time by going this way. If I don't die. <laughs> oh, that was so risky. I can't believe I didn't slide. All right, there we go. I, I, I heard a beep, but now I don't see anything. So you know what? I'm just going to take control. I saw the flag. What, what, why is there a flag there, by the way, if I haven't made it there yet? Mental condition below 20%. Aren't we all? <laughs> Okay, okay, you're you're putting up way too many things here. This is where I needed oxygen, I think. I'm gonna have to speed run this. I'm gonna have to speed run. Hard to speed run when my mental condition's below ten. Okay, great, great. I I I, I lost due to my mental condition. Am 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 I dead? What the hell is this? Is this the afterlife climbing for version? I'm so confused. All right, well I made it. In, in the afterlife, I th I broke the game. How do I break every game I play? I'm to the top. Let me let me do things. I can't even open the escape menu. Like, it's open right now, but it's just pausing the game. I legit... I'm going to have to restart the whole freaking level to get up here, even though I already made it. I mean, I guess I did technically die. Actually, what happens if I die? Can I not die? What is going on? Let me... Let me die. Oh. Last life used. Fantastic. Well, here we are. Back at the start. Just have to do that all over again. Okay, we made it back to camp two. Uh, obviously, really awful day today by the weather. So, kind of screwed up all my stats. But I'm happy we're here. And I actually went back to the main menu and bought a few extra things. I got warming pads for my hands. Because, yeah, I was having major temperature issues. And uh, going a lot better this time, at least. I also bought a helmet and uh, some gloves because that helps with temperature as well. So yeah, I just wanted to address my temperature issues that we we're having in my first climb. All right, so we'll cook our food. Let's see how much food that actually gives me. I never actually looked. 340. No wonder why I'm always having food issues. Um, yeah, I guess I should have brought one more meal. I, I could have had two here. I still have three energy bars, which actually isn't too much. So I think I'm just going to sleep and use those tomorrow because we're definitely going to run into food issues, I'm thinking. So I think I'm going to risk it here. Oh, this is risky. I don't want to go till midday, but I want to get over this negative seven uh, and get to sunny. If I go to here, my food drops down so much, but then we have a nice day and a final push. I think I should be okay with my, with my energy bars. So I'm going to risk it uh, for the stamina. I hope I don't regret that decision, but I feel like that was a better option. No, stop going back in. I want to unpack. All right, and back to the ice wall we go. So I'm thinking, yeah, we got to climb this way. Let's make sure we balance our backpack first, though. And that is good enough for me. Not perfect, but good enough. Um, Yeah, I don't know the best way to do this. You know what? I'm going to follow this green, see if this leads anywhere. I'm thinking, ooh, this is risky. Okay, I think I should go the, 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 the rock way. Food is already below 20%. First thing I do is climb and with food below 20%. Fantastic. Uh, how much do these bars give me? They only give me 90. Oh, God. This is... <laughs> this is going to be a rush. I might die again due to food this time. Last time it was temperature and mental stability. All right. We should be able to do this quickly. And hopefully... I don't waste too much food here. I think this is the best pathway. Food below 15%. All right, I'm going to stop climbing. That's one thing I was screwing up. I didn't know I didn't have to go all the way to the top. And I wasted so much energy on those climbs because I wanted to get a few more uh, grab points. All right. Yeah, there's no way we're going to make this unless I find a delicious chicken dinner down here or something. Last breath before pushing to the summit. Uh, okay, so I think maybe I'm supposed to anchor this way. At least I'm learning here. Maybe not. Ah! God damn it. Maybe I did go the right way then and went this way and then somehow screwed it up. Yeah, that's got to be the way to do it. There we go. Last breath before the summit. Okay, so I just need to get to the summit. I'm going to try and rush this. We're going to throw on the oxygen mask here and just go for it. Balls to the wall. We're only 40 meters away. We might actually make it. 
I, I hope we don't have to go back down. EQ. Okay, there we go. So if I don't do that, I believe I die. So that's fun. All right, come on. I got 50 food left. I see it. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I don't have to worry about going down. Did I make it? What am I doing wrong right at the end? Oh, I just got to hit F. Yay! It took four days. Oh, thank God I don't have to go back down. I don't know if I like that, though. The whole point of this is to go back down in these games. Uh, I guess in this one, you don't need to, though. All right, guys. Well, that was the first look into Climber's Sky is the Limit, I have to say. I really enjoy this game. I wish it wasn't so linear. That would be my only complaint. It looks like there's a few off paths that you can choose. Uh, but the mountains do seem to be one passageway, more or less, all the way up. But I do like the inventory management the strategy when it comes to actually preparing for these mountain climbs is really really interesting and yeah it was fun trying not to die on mana slew the easiest of mountains if you guys do want to see more let me know in the comments below and then we can obviously try and tackle the rest of the more difficult ones so yeah as always guys thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one